Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Tip of the Week. So um, we're just going to finish up here with the topic of storyboarding and so this one is about exporting options. And um, so basically Storyboard Pro is not just about drawing and doing animatics, it's about the whole pipeline and how you can use what you do in Storyboard Pro in the next stage in the pipeline. So um, let's take a look here at a scene file that um, was very nicely donated to us um, by um, these guys who in Montreal who do a show called Life on the Block in English. It's it's a bilingual show, so the French version of it is called Vie de Quartier. And um, so they have nicely enough uh, donated us this scene file that we can use for the purpose of doing some demos and showing how people tend to work in Storyboard Pro. And these um, these scene files are extremely detailed and very clean. So um, sometimes you'll see very clean storyboards when they're going overseas to do the animation because they don't want any guesswork in the size of the characters and the orientation, whether the characters are on model. It's extremely important that the storyboards look very nice and very clean. Um, and you'll also see here that following what we were talking about last week, there are a number of the items that we were talking about with regards to the animatics. So in this one, you know, we can see that there is some animation on the camera, so we have a zoom in on the camera there. We also have animation on the characters, so here the father character is zooming in or becoming larger to indicate him walking towards the camera. And then we have animations on other characters throughout. And some of the animations are done just by using the transform tool, like that uh, father moving in. And then there will be some um, you know, panels here or some scenes that have multiple panels to describe the motion. So let's take a look at this outdoor scene here. If we play through it, we have an, uh, an animation on the movement of the father with the wheelbarrow there. And then um, we have a few different panels indicating something going on. So there's new drawings for the, for the child being in the um, seat there and then going up in the seat and then him being surprised. And then we switch to a new camera angle and we see what it is that he's being surprised about. So this is all bringing everything together into one and I think that's kind of interesting for you guys to see what a real storyboard looks like. <laughs> not a real storyboard, not that mine aren't real, but an actual customer storyboard. Um, and this one is very clean and some of them are not so clean. I mean, some are very dirty um, or not so detailed. It really varies uh, from studio to studio on what the kind of look that they have in the end is. And storyboarding and Storyboard Pro can be used not just for animation in the case of this one, but also for planning things for live action. So in other words, you're going to go out and shoot a, a TV show with cameras you know, out there in the real world, then you can plan what you're going to do before you do it in Storyboard Pro as well. And we do have some storyboard artists like Mark Simon that do a lot of uh, live action storyboarding in our software. So you can see we do have some um, tutorials on YouTube, by the way, by Mark Simon. There's also tutorials on our website by Sherm Cohen, um, who did some of the storyboarding for SpongeBob, among many other things. So um, definitely take a look at those tutorials when you have a chance. But just to finish up with this tip on exporting options, um, now that we have our project done, the first thing we usually export to is the PDF. And there are some different um, preset PDF formats that are in there by default. Three panel, vertical, and horizontal are the most common ones used. There's also the Japanese format that I was showing to some Japanese people the other day um, that is loaded by default into Storyboard Pro 3D. But basically, um, you can take any one of these profiles and you can edit the profile to change the options. So if I want to have four rows instead of three, um, and there's all kinds of different options that you can adjust. You can add an image on the uh, cover. Most people want to change the image in the header because the image in the header is the typical Storyboard Pro or typical Toon Boom header image. So you can always change that to your own um, studio or your own company's um, image there and you can change the font and and the labeling on on the different panels and so on so there's many different things you can do but sometimes people get a little overwhelmed by the PDF options so that's why in newer, newer versions we've added the PDF view workspace 
And if you switch over to the PDF View workspace, then from here you have the ability to see a preview there of what the panels look like. And you can also um, select a few panels. So let's just select three panels here. And um, then <clears throat> I can select the profile that I'm interested in checking out. So I've got the three panel vertical profile there selected. You can edit the options directly in here and then you can preview or export. So let's just preview those three panels and check out what it looks like. So now if I zoom out of here, if I do the preview, I can check out, okay, the uh, font and the sizing is correct. I see those things. Um, the title of this project is very long, so it's kind of going over the edge there. So you might want to adjust the size of the font on the title, or you might choose to hide the number of pages, you know, or move the number of pages to the bot, you know, various different things. If you have difficulty achieving the look that you want in your PDF, then you can feel free to write into TubeBoom and we can help you to get the look that you want. Um, because I know that it sometimes can be confusing navigating the PDF options in there. And um, so other than the PDF though, there are a couple of other options that you probably want to take a look at. So one of them is the export to movie. And you can export the entire movie and one of the things that's kind of cool is being able to put a time code on there or the scene names and the panel names and um, also the project safeties. So if you're using these, this QuickTime movie as reference, then it's a good idea to put the time code on there so that you can go back and check what scene file you need to look at. And in addition to doing that, you can also export just one movie clip per scene. And this is useful for if you're going to go into a software that we haven't thought of yet. So in other words, if you're going from Storyboard Pro to After Effects or something like that, then you could export one movie clip per scene and you could import that movie clip as a reference file to then um, work with on top of that. 